hello everyone this is Harry from Iris communication today I want to show you how you can get Android at your notebook this is HP mini 110 and I will I will gonna install Android into this by a memory card or SD card first of all we need to download the Android the software of the Android okay We have to go we have to go www.android x86.org slash download okay at this page there is a different kinds of android different version of android is available recently they are working on this project and they build so many software for the android Okay, I'm gonna download this one Android x86 3.2 RC2 from there here is four version for four different type Okay, I download any one from here. You can download any one from here, but I suggest personally Download Asus laptop dot ISO. Okay uh, As I already download that one, so I will not download again. I have at my PC. I will close this page And I will go to the document where I have that file. Here it is. For flush the Android in pen drive, you can flush into a pen drive or you can flush into a memory card or SD card or into a flush drive. You need a software, it's called Unibooting Windows. I download from one side. You can Google it and you can search. I put the flush drive or the SD card into the notebook and I will click the unibooting and before doing that I will format my SD card so I will not have further any problem formatting I will use FAT32 for format this one, format quick format, except we have to wait a little, ok is done, my SD card is not so much, it's only 1 gigabyte, it's sufficient for this process or for this purpose, ok now I go to again to the document, I will open the uniboot, say yes, after the uniboot will come here is the flash drive or SD card is detected here is at E we have to select the Android software now here I have 3 4.0 4.0 but I would like I would like to show you 3.2 this one is more suitable for the notebook so far as as far as I am thinking but for you for your version of notebook it could be different ok I will open this one I will click here don't need to do nothing here only select that and click here accept and it will start the flushing sorry when it's restart I have to boot the flash drive I have to boot the notebook from flash drive so I have to check the booting option of the notebook for me is F9 for you it could be different F2 or Dell button ok I prepare myself or click the F9 I click the F9 here is two booting option I have from booting from the SD card and booting from hard disk so I will select by the arrow booting from multi card that is my SD card if you have a flush card or pen drive it will appear there so I click enter and here it is the Android here is four options they give you first you can run Android without installation you can check which version of Android is shooting at your notebook the second is visa mode third is 
Delbug mood and fourth is install Android with, with at the hard disk. You can install the Android at the hard disk. If you not choose any one, it will detect the first one. So it is detect the first one. It is now is opening the Android. I not install the Android because I don't want to lose the Windows operating system of my notebooks. I want to use both. So the Android is installing. But if you want a complete version of Android and only Android at your notebook. You can install the Android at the notebook. Here, as you see, this is here is open. Here we are. This is Android Honeycomb 3.2. Here is Wi-Fi signal, the battery meter application with the help of mouse. You can slide the screen, the Google search. Here is the mic, we click the application button, here is all the application, the browser, gallery, Facebook, camera. Some application is not working, we have to wait for the upgrades. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for watching, this is Android at your notebook. For more information, go www.iriscommunication.com and Click at take iris. Thank you again. Good night. Ciao.